Next week, we'll see kids walking to school, head of the bus stop, or being dropped off in line. But if you're doing all that, you can make sure to make sure you know where they need to go safely. Uh, Kara Hitchens with AAA is with us with some tips for drivers to be careful around these these little people who are getting out of school buses and and walking to school. I tell you what, it's it is a mindset you have to be prepared when when we get to school season. And like we're about a week away in this area from school starting. Yes, yes. So. What we always tell people is they need to be mindful. When you see those school buses on the road, that's your first indication that you need, first of all, slow down. Um, and if you're traveling behind a school bus, and this is where a lot of people get confused, if you're traveling behind a school bus and that school bus extends their arm, you need to stop. A lot of people, unfortunately, still aren't doing that. But you need to stop. If you're on a divided highway, that, that's where the difference comes in if you're traveling the opposite direction. So anything, we always say anything more than a three-lane highway, if you're traveling the opposite direction, you don't have to stop. But I always tell people, too, if you're confused, just stop. That's, that's your best bet. Just best to be safe and just stop. Are the rules the same state to state? Is this a, a national rule or is Ohio different from maybe Michigan or Kentucky? I think it's pretty standard. Um, I, I honestly, I'm going to tell you, Dan, I don't know every, every state's rule, but I would say it's probably pretty standard, pretty close, pretty close to the same. And, and the thing is, you know, when you're, it, it, you could be careful, but you can't be too careful around a school bus, right. especially because um, every few years, a young child Kids being kids, they'll get off the bus and they'll dart across traffic, not even look, and, and right. you don't even have a chance to see them. And, and maybe a, a child gets seriously injured or worse. And that's just the worst that can happen. So you, you really have to prepare for the unexpected, don't yeah, you? Yeah, we see, we see that kids are very excited. They're excited to get on the bus. They're sure. excited to get off the bus. And drivers around that bus need to be hyper vigilant about what they're doing. Yeah, the school bus drivers have been very good about that in the past. And, and they, a lot of times, you know, they train all the kids to look up. If you see me wave, okay, it's right. good to go. But it, it's, it's frightening what can happen. Now with kids walking, kids on bicycles, I mean, there's different challenges ahead for drivers. Yeah, so with kids who are walking, we always tell the parent to, to first of all, walk with that child th through the first couple of days of school so that they really know the route, that they are crossing in the proper spots, crossing at crosswalks, crossing at corners, and not in, be in between the block, you know, in the middle of the block. That's always dangerous. And the same with bicyclists. First of all, make sure that child has proper gear on. You know, their, their heads are covered, you know, whether, you know, depending on the weather, I guess, you know, arms and legs are, are covered. And a hard sole shoe, not a flip-flop, not a sandal, but something that if they do crash, it's going to protect their foot as well. Cross at the crosswalks, not in the middle of the block, not in between cars. So just some of those kind of common sense things you think about, which can keep everyone safe. You know, and remember, I guess, when you think about it, uh, drive like your child is out there on the road like that. You do not want to hit one of those precious kids out there and, and how be careful you have to be. Um, and also kids, they lose focus. Drivers lose focus, but kids <laughs> lose focus and maybe uh, they'll like, oh, I forgot something. They'll turn around and, and you just beware out there. Right, and we always tell parents too, if you're doing a drop off, Make sure that, first of all, make sure that you know what the drop-off rules are because, it, you know, it may change from one year to another. Um, if you're dropping off in front of the school, make, your dropping, make sure you're dropping off on the curbside and you're not double parking and making that child walk through cars and you're dropping off on the side, the same side that the school is on and that they don't have to cross the street. So just some, like I said, some common sense things that we, you know, we just remind people about. You know, we were in COVID a few years ago, and, and we all got really careless, uh, not as many cars on the road. Right. And uh, you see more people running stop signs nowadays, people going too fast. Uh, and we have to start getting back into that mindset we had before COVID. Exactly. We just Because it's the start of the school year next week, we just want to remind people that you're going to see more traffic in and around school zones. So be mindful of that. And everyone's going to school now. and There's no more online exactly. school. Everybody's back. <laughs> everyone's Life back. Life is back to normal. Thank goodness <laughs> with that. But uh, yeah, we just have to be very careful about that. Exactly. Kara Hitchens, thank you so much for AAA. For more information for any of the AAA services, go to AAA.com, visit any local real retail store. So what, what is a, a service AAA has that maybe people aren't taking advantage of as members? Um, you and I talked earlier about um, triptychs. Yeah. People still are getting triptychs. 
And that's a, it's a great way, we always say it's a great way to see the world between here and there. It's going to get you to that location, but we can help you find all the, the little scenic tour. cool little scenic things in between here and there. One of those dividing things like do you want to go the fastest way and take the turnpike or the expressways or take the scenic, scenic route, route and see <laughs> real America? Yes, see the world. All right, thanks so much for being here. Thank